This is the human face of the EU's austerity cuts. Thousands gathering in Athens for a free food handout by Golden Dawn. The people here are hungry, angry and desperate. Does this mean you'll vote for Golden Dawn? But Golden Dawn isn't helping everyone. In keeping with its radical ideology, this aid is race-based. Party officials check papers to make sure the food only goes to those who can prove they're Greek. Once approved, the people are given potatoes, eggs, bread and lamb, all Greek, of course. The handout has been organised by this man, Ilias Panayotaros, one of Golden Dawn's 18 high-profile MPs. How many people do you think you're going to serve today? More than three and a half thousand, uh, the portions are like this. We have already served some. Right, okay, and tell me one thing. The critics obviously say Golden Dawn is a violent party. What do you say to them when you see something like this? Screw them. Okay. Earlier, the group had tried to deliver their food in the main square, in the shadow of parliament. The city's mayor called it a soup kitchen of hate, and police moved in, forcing the handout back to Golden Dawn headquarters. Okay. Many may not like it. But the party's virulently anti-immigrant message has struck a chord with a large section of Greek society. From a fringe group of hardcore neo-Nazis just a few years ago, Golden Dawn now has tens of thousands of members. Since winning 7% of the national vote, its support has doubled in the polls. They say they're a nationalist party, here to return Greek dignity and to stop a flood of migrants they say are taking Greek jobs, particularly as austerity bites deeper. They are now the third biggest political force in Greece. They're getting organised and they have support. In what used to be one of the city's most expensive boulevards, closed shops and for rent signs bear witness to the pain. Nearby, we find what many Greeks see as one of the main problems. Downtown Athens has become a magnet for migrants, both legal and illegal, scratching out an existence in a country mired in the worst of economic times. It's here I meet Matina. She's lived in central Athens all her life, but no longer feels safe. Matina's owned this shoe shop for 33 years, but recently she's been mugged on the street and burgled three times, each time by migrants. Events that have turned this lifelong socialist into a Golden Dawn convert. Σε μηδέν χρόνο είναι εδώ. Ilias also runs a store. It has army surplus, sports brands favoured by Golden Dawn members and some extras. 
Baseball bats? Yes. Are they used to keep things secure on the street? Oh, they like to play, people like to play baseball. Like most business owners, he's feeling the pinch, but many others are doing it far tougher. In the past four years, there have been 4,000 suicides in Greece. This is tragic because Greeks were not like this. Instead of committing suicide, they could have gone and killed the ones who were responsible for their problems. Who should they kill? Bankers, of course. Mm -hmm. I can give you an example. In, when we had the stock exchange scandal in 1996, 98, I think, in Cyprus, some people who lost a lot of money and properties and fortunes, they put some bombs in some of these stock uh, exchange uh, offices and so on and so forth. They did something different. They did something. It's Golden Dawn's threats and open contempt that have immigrants living in fear. This documentary on the party was filmed in the run-up to last year's elections. Its central character was a Golden Dawn member running for parliament. Golden Dawn wants to, as they say, officially, they want to uh, rid the country of the fields. This Filmmaker Konstantinos Georgusis called the documentary The Cleaners, a title Golden Dawn give themselves. They want to clean everything. Uh, you know, they want to clean um, uh, the, the Jewish population, they want to clean the immigrants, they want to clean uh, homosexuals, they want to clean the left people, they want to clean anyone progressive, anyone against them, anyone who likes maybe modern art or anything. So they believe they are um, uh, the cure for all uh, illnesses, for all diseases. But there's more to Golden Dawn than racist rhetoric. One of its top leaders, ex-army commando Ilias Kassidiaris, famously hit a female MP on TV. The group regularly enters markets checking the residence papers of immigrants. If they find an illegal, the stalls are smashed and they're driven violently away. Last May, Golden Dawn members joined locals attacking police guarding immigrants sheltering in a factory. Doctors of the World is a medical clinic that helps immigrants for free. Its director, Nikitas Kanakis, has seen a 30% rise in racist violence against immigrants in the past year. Racism, racist attacks has to do with the problems that the Greek society has. But the immigrants is the easier target. In some way, there are the Jews of our years. He says many disaffected youth are taking out their anger through violent attacks on migrants. They're very angry with us, very angry with the society. They have no opportunities. They have no hope. So if we left them, we will be in front of a new kind of metafascism in the country that then it will be very difficult to, 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 to solve it. And it will drive in the end in a civil war. Between who? Between the people who believe this and they will create militia and between the rest of the people that in some way they have to protect themselves. Racist violence has grown so much that the UN's refugee agency, UNHCR, has now set up a monitoring centre. This was the release of their first report. The centre verified 154 racist attacks, including 71 causing severe injuries. There were also two deaths. Kostas Papa Ioannou is the head of the monitoring center. Nazi groups are, are behind the violence. We have clear signs that in, in many of the cases, Golden Dawn is behind the violence.
Τρίσα βίτε στο δρόμο περνάνε με βήμα γοργό στη βαρό. Golden Dawn denies organising violence. They say they're patriots with an ideology rooted in Greek history, but their demeanour reminds many of Nazi Germany. Όλοι έχουμε αρχίσει να συνηθίσουμε τις κακές μυρουδιές. Έχουμε πάψει να θεωρούμε ότι συμβαίνει κάτι ξεχωριστό, κάτι επικίνδυνο, κάτι άξιο να το πολεμήσουμε. Η διασπορά του φόβου είναι προϋπόθεση για τον εκφασισμό της κοινωνίας. Δημήτρης Πεσάρας είναι ένας γερνάλιστος και γερνάλιστος που έχει εργαστεί χρόνια για την Ελλάδα. Πρόκειται για κόσμο αυτοί που την ψήφισαν, που είναι απολύτως απελπισμένος και διαμέσου της Χρυσής Αυγής επιχειρεί να εκδικηθεί, ε, να δώσει μια απάντηση να εκδικηθεί το πολιτικό σύστημα. Η Χρυσή Αυγή είναι μια ναζιστική οργάνωση. Είναι μια οργάνωση που εμπνέεται, καθοδηγείται και αντιγράφει τα πρότυπα του ναζιστικού κόμματος. Μετέρχεται τη βία ως ε, μέθοδο πολιτικής πράξης. Μια εγκληματική συμμορία. Να γίνουν αυτή τη στιγμή. The group's leader is Nikos Mihalolyakos, a former commando. He spent a year in prison for illegal possession of arms and explosives. Πιστεύουμε στη μεγάλη Ελλάδα. Πιστεύουμε στην ελληνική αυτοκρατορία. Θα κρατήσουμε τη φλόγα αναμένη μέχρι την τελική νίκη. Ζήτω η νίκη. Δεν είναι μια περιθωριακή ομάδα εγκληματιών. Έχουν στενούς δεσμούς με αυτό το βαθύ κράτος. Και έτσι εξηγείται και εξηγούνται και διάφορα φαινόμενα, όπως κάποια άτομα από την εκκλησία, επίσκοπη, από το στρατό, κάποιοι στρατιωτικοί, ή και από τη δικαιοσύνη. Οι υψηλοί δικαστές συμμερίζονται τις απόψεις τους, παρότι είναι τόσο ακραίες. Golden Dawn rallies for any nationalist cause. This protest was outside a Greek TV channel that broadcasts Turkish soap operas. The party also runs education classes for primary school children, where they say they're teaching correct Greek history. Then there are the visits to hospitals to give blood. Just like their free food handout, there's a catch. So what, where does the majority of that blood go? All the blood goes to Greek citizens, Greek people who need blood, not necessarily members of our party. You, you got a whip in there? Yes, it's legal. We have to protect. As you see, we don't have uh, police protection. Who, who threatens you? We have uh, anarchists, uh, terrorists, uh, we already have incidents, my car have been exploded once. But Golden Dawn visits hospitals not just to give blood. The group has invaded several hospitals, demanding to see the residency papers of workers and patients, forcing any illegals to leave. Olga Kosmopoulou was on duty when these Golden Dawn members entered her hospital looking for Greek patients. They have said so many times that we're going to walk into the emergency department and drop out uh, any immigrant we find there. This is not only for publicity, I think. They have a plan. They have a plan. Boosted by growing support at home, Golden Dawn intends to expand its support base internationally with plans to open offices in Germany, the US and Australia looking for votes and funds. Στην Αυστραλία έχουμε ένα πολύ μεγάλο δίκτυο υποστηρικτών της Χρυσής Αυγής, το οποίο διογκώνεται μέρα με την ημέρα. Ξέρετε τις περιπτώσεις κοιτάτε, πάμε, πάμε! Ilias plans to go to Australia himself, even though Australia's Prime Minister has said there's no place for their type of politics. Θα μπορούσαμε και εμείς να τις πούμε, να κοιτάξει, να γυρίσει λίγο πίσω, μερικές, όχι δεκαετίες, 100-200 χρόνια πίσω, να δουν τι κάναν στους γηγενείς Αυστραλούς, στους Αμπορίτζιναλς και να μην μας μιλάνε μάτα για ρατσισμό και για δικαιώματα. <Τι> θα μας δείτε στην Αυστραλία με λίγα λόγια, δεν ξέρω αν θα είναι το καλοκαίρι ή λίγο αργότερα, αλλά σίγουρα θα μας δείτε εκεί.